when we uh yeah when we had the what we call them the big marauders oh god what were they marauder mayhems so that's we, what this is no king of the ville when we had the king of the villes in here they wouldn't turn on the fucking ethernet ports there are ethernet ports in here the school wouldn't fucking turn them on so we had to run it off of wi-fi and like grand finals at the time was like I think it was like Lot and Bones or something. It was like something that was like good. And that you wasn't know? even streamed. Well, it was streamed, but it was it was oh, choppy it was as fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I feel that. It was it was such. It was it was, it was so tragic. No, this is not a hand warmer. They're right into it. Just into it. Yep. So we got Shargi on the Samus. Uh, whatever Connor's new tag on the Sheik. <laughs> polio spreader. Yeah, polio super setter or something. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Crazy tag. All right, Shargi, uh, well known for his 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 grind mentality as of this morning, <laughs> has played like 30 ranked matches before he got here. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, the guy is he's gonna sweep an absolute demon. And uh, I don't know if, if Connor has touched a GameCube or a Wii all day. I've seen him over on the Ultimate setups. Connor, that's Polio. Oh uh, yeah, Polio. Okay. I can't call him anything. <laughs> what am I supposed to call him? Yeah. I'm calling him Connor. <laughs> That's okay. You Connor. know top players. You're cool like that. <laughs> yeah, but even worse, his name, his tag was Connor for the longest time. And now it's Polio Super Spreader. And yeah, and it, that. it was S Epstein didn't SD. Oh my god. That's that's quite a tag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice history of tags. Oh shit, and he's going to give him the forwards backsies. Connor's had a lot of trouble coming back from the ledge. Every time he's tried wave dashing on, he's been uh, punished for it. I think yeah. maybe he's not getting a glint off it. Yeah, one thing I, I do Ooh. like in Andy's play is he's Andy actually... Shargi? Yeah, Shaggy's play. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still learning friends names. With these two. <laughs> That's my bad. I got you. Um, but the one thing I do like in Shaggy's play is that he's been learning to respect Legend ability, even from characters like Sheik. Yeah. So, like, even Connor, you'll see him Ooh. standing at that range right where whatever character that is is going to run out of um, invincibility. Right, you're not going to be able to get a free move on him. Yeah. And that's, that is a that's huge. new development in our in our apartment meta. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I used to be able to smack him in the face every time I grabbed the ledge. It was great. Now I gotta, like, do a neutral exchange. Terrible. Yeah. Now you actually have to play the game? I know, I hate playing the game. I just like smacking people and then, like, playing DDR. Yeah. I think Connor's slowing it down a little bit, which is like weirdly to his favor. Um, polio super spreader that is slowing yeah. it down. Because um, you would, I would kind of think that like Samus would want this slowed down, but Andy's been doing well in these like close-up boxing type situations. Yeah, I definitely, I, I don't think the play versus Samus should be to go in really ham all the no. time, especially because in low percents, all of your moves are gonna get crouch canceled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be tactical, especially with Sheik. It's yeah. like Sheik on anybody, honestly. Um, until like, you know, forward tilt starts knocking down, and whatever that's at with Samus, like fucking 80. It's pretty, yeah, it's gotta be <laughs> you pretty can, high. You can start playing the game a little bit. I'm sure it's not actually 80, but. Maybe like 50 or 60. Yeah. But then she could probably like crouch cancel longer. I don't know. Alright. Shargi trying to threaten this uh, charge shot as much as he can. Getting some grabs off of it. Connor definitely favoring shield a little more now that he's got it. It's really scary whenever the same as charge shot. Mm -hmm. Especially if you haven't been doing so well recovering and getting back from the ledge, right? Yeah. And Shargi's really good at about like keeping the charge shot and, and threatening with it. Like yeah, there's a reason he hasn't. Yeah. That's there's a reason really he hasn't let it rip and he's already making this comeback, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. New new stuff from Chargi. Never before seen tech. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I think he's trying to drift back. Yeah, he was. He's gonna make it. Nice recovery. Oh, kind of gets the edge cancel. Saves him. Oh. Just point blank. Point blank. Oh. Could do with a little more grabbing ledge from Shargi, um, but he is also above 100, so I'm not really sure what Samus can do without her regular get up against Sheik when she's edge guarding. Yeah, I think most of the ledge options that Samus has involve oh. some ECB manipulation yeah. with up air. 
Yeah, yeah. Shargi does not have aerial interrupts. Um, so that is one thing you don't have to worry about. He's not going to get that, like, 10 frames glint or whatever it is right. that ECB uh, or uh, Something aerial absurd. interrupts give. It's really good. Okay. Um, really tight game. Shargi doesn't have a jump. Yeah. But Samus has, like, unlimited little baby bad jumps, you know? Yeah. All right, guys, jump back. Oh my oh. god, I love that. Yeah, get him! Oh, oh that, that is the play of somebody who's not worried about their placement. <laughs> I mean, Love honestly, I don't, I don't know if it was that bad, because they missed it, but even still, they... No, it was okay. good. I yeah. think I think it was good. I think, um... I like seeing him go for it. Yeah. What are they... Oh, are they just... Oh, there's something jump? going on. Uh-oh. <laughs> you turn on tap jump? Is that legal? Uh-oh. Oh, they turned on rumble. They turned on rumble? Oh, okay, on that's rumble. fine. No, you're good. No, no you're good. <laughs> I heard band dream lines. That makes sense. Yeah. I think, um... I think if nice. Mr. Polio knew Shargi better, he probably wouldn't have banned Dreamland. Um, I think Shargi's not really a Dreamland player. Shargi has like a weird uh, preference for certain stages that like you wouldn't don't make sense for his character. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he would love to take you at FD. Like whoever you are. Um, and I, I kind of I tend to think like he wins. Um, he quote wins uh, counter pick wars because of that. Like he just gets to go to yeah. his favorite stage, and I do think like comfort over like the actual good, you know, comfort over the actual matchup choice. You know. Yeah, I mean the the reason people recommend stages is they expect you to do better on those stages. But if you if you play a certain way that favors you on others, there's no reason to listen to those idiots. Yeah, exactly. Biggest biggest one I think of is like literally Mango on. Uh, Stadium when like Tapa was trying to get him to counter pick H Box's stadium. <laughs> yeah. And it's like he's not gonna play the style that makes Stadium broken for Fox. Like he's right. just not. But he's gonna make he's gonna play the style that makes Stadium broken for Fox on or uh, makes Yoshi's broken for Fox. Right. Not quite. Oh oh that could have been it. Yeah, I wonder if he could just like nair that shield or something. I, yeah, I was thinking nair back here. Mm -hmm. Basically anything. Okay. Yeah. Well, Polio gets the first stock. Yeah, I think Shargi's got to figure out how he wants to edgeguard Sheik. I don't think we're, we're getting enough kills when, when Sheik's going off stage. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, I wonder what the edgeguard could be. I, I sort of imagine you could do something simple like grab edge with a charge shot and then just like jump from edge to charge shot. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that. And then like jump from jump from edge when you don't have the charge shot into like down air and air. Yeah, right. I've seen, um, it takes some actual reacting, which I'm not used to because I play Fox, so I can just, like... Reacting's for nerds. It's overrated. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm reacting. Like, I regular get up and then react to where the Sheik is staying for 73 frames. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got an hour and a half. Ooh, actually, Snipe the needle. Guys, double jump. Oh, no. Oh. Connor. Ah. <laughs> we'll going for a grab. Yeah. The, uh... Down smash. Yeah, yeah, Polio got the down smash. I get... I don't know how to say it. Those scramble situations are always very telling, I think. Yeah. I think if you, if you know your opponent's going to down smash immediately out of a scramble, that's a good bit of oh. information. 100%. I would have been mashing down on the C-Stick at all, <laughs> like, in every situation there with Samus. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, Zapter? Oh, my God. Zap Connor? Didn't quite get the edge in time. I think Andy's having a little trouble, too with Connor's uh, unwillingness to shield. <laughs> yeah. Shargi wants a grab so bad. And Connor's giving him no uh, <laughs> no chances. Are the sheep throws, are those true on Samus? I think so, yeah. Okay. I think at low percent, you don't really get anything though, because none of your stuff sends her into tumble. Yeah, but I think before he'd been getting like down throw forward tilt, but mm -hmm. you know, it does like, 18% and that was it. Yeah. And then Sam just kind of floats away. <laughs> yeah. I think he might have been able to get something there if he was a little bit faster. Yeah, I think for sure. Oh. 
Okay. I, I do like Shardy when he's like... Wow, I think get him? Interesting. Yeah, I thought that would snipe him. Yeah, I do like Shardy when he's getting, like, uh, the offense going. Like, he's gaining ground. Like, it's been so much more devastating for Shardy when he's in the corner against Connor than when right. Connor's in the corner against him. Right. Um, it feels like he just gets stuck and he's afraid to move forward. I think his neutral's best probably when he's oh. able to get the missiles off. Oh, that was it. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. That was winnable. Are we playing? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, you and Sean are playing? Yep. Oh, let's go. Hey, Quiz, do you want to commentate? I have to play. I do want to commentate. Boo. Boo. Playing bad. Commentating good. Alright, Jay Bobinson versus Whiplash. By the time I get over, there's already a stock case. What the hell happened? Yeah, unfortunately, the past minute of this has kind of just been Sean trying and struggling to get his footing. Okay, he takes one. Oh, that's not it! Oh, shit. It's interesting. So far, both of these two struggling a little bit to get the kind of extended combos that you might expect in the Fox Ditto. But, you know, it's really just come down to winning neutral again and again and again to get these kills. Uh, I will say, so far, Jay Bobinson seems to have a bit of an edge on the edge guards. And not doing that. Uh, J. Bumpson, game one? Crap, I missed what the ban was. I think it was FOD, maybe? Really good dash chance by Whiplash there. Okay, 
Okay, a little bit too quick to get the platform follow-up. Nice, and that is going to take the stock. Cleans it up. Both these players have really nice movement. Okay, this is the first kind of combo that they <laughs> that Robinson gets out immediately. Yeah, I would push wasn't even close enough to really push that situation. I definitely would have been able to get some kind of an open up on Robinson's recovery. And Robinson really throwing out some of these haymakers, trying to just finish the stock fast. And unfortunately, Whiplash is getting a lot of mileage out of it. What a turnaround from game one. All right, Bonson cleans it up. Okay. Nice. Bobinson keeping the pressure, but get up tack gets will flash out of there. kill straight up. Yeah, Jay Bobinson doing a great job of keeping the pressure on whenever he gets an opening. Unfortunately, I think he's one opening away from losing his uh, sports stock here. Yeah, just like that. Wow, in game three, just like that. FD was the ban. Okay. Huh? Oh, uh, kind of. I missed the first stock. I was updating bracket. Robinson up just a clean stock here. Big open up from Whiplash here. Uh oh, gets caught in shine. It's gonna be big. I'd like to see Whiplash kind of push that a little bit more, right? His opponent's off stage. That should be, uh, you know, should be at least in a really good situation. An unfortunate SD. <laughs> nice. Just lets it rip. Okay. Goes for some edge guard there. Doesn't quite get it, but something. Big damage. 50 damage from one open up. Down two stocks already, that hurts. These have been the most lopsided games. Start of them. Like it's gonna be really difficult to make this comeback. 
Especially with how much damage Bob and has been getting on these open ups. Okay, this is the chance. Unfortunate, it doesn't get the kill. Side B from Ledge has been giving uh, with Lesh. Giving him a lot of mileage. Okay, hits. Oh, unfortunate. Y'all, what's good? We got Tea Time Tim versus one of the better tags I've heard recently, uh, uh, Mr. Polio Super Spreader on stream. And the classic Mark Sheik, um, generally considered to be like, if not Sheik favored, at least way easier for Sheik. But Tim is pretty good at this matchup. As, as you're seeing right now, he's really good at maintaining an advantage state and just comboing the absolute mess out of Sheik's. Um, and you know, we'll see what uh, what Polio Super Spreader can bring to the table. That was a great recovery. Um, it's my personal opinion. I think that without Oms attacking, this matchup is actually like not good for Sheik. I think you need to be able to Oms attack those edge guards, and if you can, you can live forever and just get your big combos. Um, so that's I'm kind of hoping to see that for Polio Super Spreader. Um, it seems like he, he like definitely knows how to play neutral. He knows what he's doing. He's just getting like out pressured. Uh, by, by Tim, who's just playing a little faster and a little more sure-footed, but it is still, you know, just one minute into the set, so we got time to wait and see. Yeah, getting juggled by Tim is, is not a fun experience. My guy has put his ears in at the circus. He knows how to keep you up there. And yeah, see right there, that's where you need the Oms attack, because if you Oms attack that, the situation's over. Um, and unfortunate, just not quite making it back there, probably held down during the FB. Yeah, well, let's go. My boy Kenny up in top eight. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Yo, check out my man Polio Super Spray. <laughs> Wait, who's? Oh, is that the sheep? That's the sheep. Yeah. Okay, Tim, doing his Tim thing. Is there a way to like? 
It's kind of like right in the middle of everything. Uh, but is the so how much does this matter? If I talk at it like from here, is it still gonna pick it up? Um, it, it's fine. <laughs> but yo, tea time. Tim takes game one. Solid stuff. Getting those combos, those juggles. But yeah, honestly, I mean, everything the Polio Super Spreader is doing, it seems like good. Like, he, he knows how to play the matchup. What do you it's think just... about this as counter? Um, this like... is best of three, right? So yes. there was a ban involved. Um, Probably it's okay. I like. Uh, I feel like I would, if I was the team, yeah, I yeah. would go to Dreamland. Um, so the, the Dreamland, I'm assuming, is what was banned, because Tim oh, was okay. the one who got the ban. Right. Um, and after, because Dreamland's the obvious pick, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. it's really hard to imagine a Marth that's, like, so run away oh, yeah, that they yeah, would want to play on Dreamland, you know? So with that gone, I mean, this is an okay counter pick. You definitely don't want to go to Yoshi's or Stadium. Um, yeah, this is probably I fine. This is where I'd go. I really honestly love Battlefield in this matchup. And, and it might be one of those things where you don't want to go back. Ooh, okay. Oh, let's go. Let's go Polio. Let's go spreading. Polio. Yo, are we going to fuck FDR in the chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. No no arms attack there. And, and this matchup becomes really, really rough. Because, um, like, Marth actually does. Like, he has crazy combos on Sheik if the Sheik doesn't have really advanced defensive tech. Like, they're not true combos, but they feel true if you don't know, like, everything about this 20 year old game, you know? I'm just watching this new show right now, just <laughs> backing up and throwing. Yeah, people. right? And uh, honestly, legitimately, this is a lot a like what the neutral between me and Tim looks like. The difference is that I live to 200. You know, but like these interactions right here, like Polio Super Spreader clearly has a good idea of how to mix things up. What did you say? Is this the trophy? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Fire. That's actually so sick. That's so sick. You better win this. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Question me over here. You better. I'm just saying. Is Mr. F playing Falco in bracket? No, no, no. I, I thought he was playing Falco against you. No, no, no. He was it when we were playing friendlies. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. He just destroyed it. Um, yeah, no, that matchup is rough. But hey, if you ever want that little puff practice, yeah, puff no, sets here and there. It, Here's the thing, it's I like... Just hate playing against I, I know I have like a different mentality. I actually love playing against floaties, but like, I feel like if you if you get to a point where you understand the matchup, it gets fun. Because I used to hate playing against floaties when I didn't get it, and it was just like this big question mark, and then I died. Is how the games all felt, yeah. you know? Um, good effort by Polio. Yeah, honestly. Um, it might not last much longer if Tim just gets like a side BL tilt, but... I feel like, like honestly, this is kind of what it looks like when like an, a, a mid-level player on the come-up plays like a really good player. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Tim won, but like he was, he was doing some stuff. He definitely yeah. wasn't lost. He was just getting put on the back foot like all the time. And that's the thing about Melee is this game is so fast that like if you lose track of like anything, you're just going to get destroyed. Yo, yo, good shit. So is it me and Mr. F now, or is that another rap? Oh, you're on the Mr. F side. Oh, I'm on the J-Bob side. Yeah. No, you're on the Zeus side. Yeah? You yeah? Zeus to Goose, probably. Unless J-Bob. No, J-Bob's really good, dude. I mean, I'm not saying Zeus isn't good, but I'd be surprised. Yeah, I wish that was on stream, goddammit. Yeah. I definitely should be on stream. Yeah, you, if, you, if Mr. F's ready, go grab him. This will be a six set. The re were you there for that uh, that Millersville when they played, and it was like a game five, huge comeback from Tim. Crazy, crazy Mr. stuff. And Mr. F and Tim, yeah. It's like the one time he. Were you there for the one time Mr. F came out? Yeah. Um, so we're probably in for a slobber knocker. The last time I saw this, it was really sick. And it's a really interesting matchup too. It's like, I feel like the the your reputation back in the day was like, oh, Puff destroys Marth because like Hungrybox beat all the Marths, but yeah. like. It, it's it's a very all of them complex know how to pivot tipper now. Yeah. All of them know how to edge guard yeah. better. Well, they know how to grab the puff, which is the, the huge yeah. thing is we didn't know about that back then. It was a big. I remember I was at Apex 2015 when Pew Pew you beat Hungrybox in insane. in uh, it was like early bracket, yeah. like not quite bracket pools, it but was, like top before, 64. Yeah, it was before top eight. Yeah, and it was because he was doing pivot tippers out of throws for the first time in a national. Ever. I remember like, seeing that. He picked that up off of the, the Texas Marth arc, who is like a super old school, really sick guy. 
He's kind of Ark was kind of like a Cactuar type. He never yeah, really made it, but like he he helped other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Um, he is also a really cool dude. Um, top six is gonna be a payout tonight, and uh, just note that we're using the central uh, stage list. You'll see it at all the setups. So um, I guess we got to start an event. Yeah. When you go to report a match, try to find me and try to find Matt. All tos, can you come up so everyone knows what you look like? The TOs, we are all also participating today. Um, uh, I'm assuming this is a best of five if we have a since it is in, top eight. Look for any of us to come record a match. We have it on our phones. Okay, so I'm going to get started then. All right, we're getting right into it. Um, it's locked as a best of five. Okay, on stream. This is the best of five. Shinobi best of five. Versus no question. Aqua yeah. On yeah. Shinobi versus Aqua on stream. We're getting right into it. Um, with Tim using the, we were actually talking about this matchup earlier because me and Tim were playing Marth Puff in preparation for doubles. Um, we were talking about the rising down air and how that could be a great whip punish. Rising down air from. From uh, from well actually from both, but I was talking about from Marth. Um, yeah, honestly, I feel like I know this matchup better from the Puff side, kind of, but I haven't played either of these characters seriously in, like, too long. Oh, yeah, and Tim getting punished for the side B. It's rough, though. This is where the matchup is, like... Like, when you see Zayn play this matchup, you know, beating Hungrybox... God, I can't commentate with this. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm gonna wait this out. I'm gonna wait this out. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, but uh, of course I like I say it. Now it's over. Um. Anyway, no the uh, when you. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Get back here, Kitty. Your break's over, King. Um, and right now, again, uh, this has been okay. Finally, closing out that edge guard. Such a slobber knocker. Um, what I was kind of in the middle of saying earlier is that when you see this matchup played at a really high level, the the Marth is going to play a ton of extremely positional based play and try really, really hard to get those early kills off the grab. That's like so important because it's legitimately like it is actually very difficult to kill the puff once they get above that percent and they get up to like. You know, I, I don't know the exact percent of when the, the throw doesn't combo into the S-Mash anymore, but somewhere around like 100 or, or something like that. What is our um, stream? What is our stream link? I don't know. I mean, it's probably just uh, Millersville was, Smash, right? Yeah, I thought it was Millersville Smash, but I don't see it. It's, it's it. this one. or it Oh, this be. might be a recording. Is this not live? I don't think this is live. Yeah, it's re stop recording. Yo, Whiplash, is this live? No. Uh, where's that? Is this live? Uh, no, recording. no, it's recording. Gotcha. Does anybody know whose setup is setup 15? Does anybody know who brought 15? We're looking for an attack. Oh, 10 with a little bit of some work to do. Yeah. This is this is the part of this matchup that I just frustrates me the most. Exactly. It's just like push them away and then wait for them to come back. Yeah. And then push them away again and then wait for them to come back. Well, and when people talk about like, you know, characters beating Puff, it, it's like when this happens, Marth doesn't beat Puff. Mar Marth beats Puff when he's getting those throw mix-ups, and it's really hard, honestly. It's it's very, very difficult. Um, and yeah, that's a, a first game for uh, 
Mr. F. Um, how do we fix the, uh, we gotta fix this the overlay? Screen. Yeah. I'm going right into Yoshi's. My man knows exactly where he wants to go. <laughs> I know. Does Tim do the, uh, uh, he has to have those pivots, right? I, so, the, the honest answer, um, is that he doesn't really grab, so I don't know. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't matter, because he, he, he doesn't, we talked about this, he doesn't feel super comfortable with it. Um, oh, oh that's really rough. That's been happening, yeah. I've been seeing that happen all day. Just yeah. Just sliding off and doing the oh. down air. Oh, Maybe today's, uh, slightly sloppy melee day. Yeah, I think... Everybody's, you know, a little, a little wiped out. From oh this weekend. man, that's this rough. No, it is not. But hey, I will say the re the super hype set. No, 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 no. Listen to me. The super hype set they had last time. It was a three-game comeback from Tim. Okay. Two on Dreamland. We know, we know he can do it. We know he can do it. All we gotta do is see if he can pull that uh, monster Tim out of there in his time of need. You know. Well, right now it's looking all misty. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Oh, Holy my God. fuck, dude. Uh, just straight to FD. Going to FD, that's interesting. I, I guess he must have felt that, that Mr. F's platform play was really solid. He does, he, I mean, like, he's got... Oh, he, he gets first grab of the set from Marth, but be careful. It's, it's very necessary and very risky. Because one, it's technical. You have to actually do it correctly. And then if you do it correctly, there's still the mix-up of, um... So it's not just spot dodge. The obvious thing is the puff can still spot dodge the dash grab and then rest it. But there's also frames at the start of her landing and her jump, oh, meaning weird. also her wave dash, where she ducks under even the dash grab. So if she wave dash reads the time that you're going to dash grab, she duck rests it. Dude. No wonder Tim is afraid to grab. <laughs> yes. No, it's, it's scary, but necessary. Um, the other thing that's good to know is that if she's backwards, she can't really rest. It's like this weird hitbox hurtbox interaction where if you grab and she's facing backwards and, and she rests, sometimes it doesn't work, and frankly, I don't actually know why. But I do know that Hungrybox won't go for it. You'll see Hungrybox, he won't rest if he's facing, like, backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I, I've noticed that as well. Yep, it's because there's a weird hurtbox hitbox interaction that I don't understand, but it makes the rest miss. Or Phantom, that happens a lot too. Which, by the way, I'm I'm team ban phantoms. I, I want phantoms out of this game. Or in the in the very Get least, on. in the very least, fix them so it's actually the tangent lines only, and not like hitbox interpolation, because that's bullshit. Like you know the whole thing about you can like be in the middle of someone in phantom, right? Yeah. Like that is that should not be in the game. Oh. Yo, Mr. F pulling ahead again. Um, and, and it needs to be said also that if, if Tim's gonna win this set, not only does he have to like pick up the pace a little bit, but He's got to wrap his mind around, like, what's coming up, right? It's like, he's got to win two games on Dreamland, and that's very doable. Not just in theory, we know. He's done it already. But it's intimidating. It's it's a, a scary and, and very, like, draining thing to do, to beat Puff on this stage and then on Dreamland twice in a row without losing. It's intimidating. Oh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, he's playing scared. Yeah. Okay. There needs to be, like, either, like, the most patient play of all time or, like, a very quick conversion here. Yeah. Well, on, I mean, from this position, it's completely doable. It's not even, like, yeah. that bad for Marth, but he's got to play different. You know, he's he's got to find it right now. Um. I like what I'm seeing so far. He's. Mm. He can't be. No. Yeah, he can't be taking this much. Percent. No. It's it's a it's a percent race at this point. Yeah. Like. Okay. Is that? Not that's enough. not even it. No, that's crazy. That's so frustrating. Yeah. Not gonna do it. Not even close. And up here he here would, but stock. I mean, it's still. Somewhat doable, but right. like 84%. Like you need that's and a big distance. Now, now his dash dance game looks great, but it's it's like for the first time. You know, it feels yeah. like he's like 
pulling it out right at the end, and that's our. Oh, I thought mm, the rest was coming. Oh, then, wait yeah, a minute, wait yeah, a minute, that's why you got a rest there. Wait a minute. Because this is doable. Mr. But, and look at those dash dances. That's what yeah, I wanted now, to see from Tim's game one. It. Now Tim's you know? feeling. He's like, that's what I needed. Yep. And now. No, just that's throwing out the aerials. Probably it. He has one shot here. Yep. Yeah. And that's a 3 0 for Mr. F. That's rough. Yeah, we definitely saw a spark of, of Tim at the end there, but. Right. Jesse, do you want to play on stream? Yeah. Alright, bet. Wait, Tyler. I told you Zeus is good, bro. Okay, you were right, you were right. Where's Zeus yet? I was like, damn, Twisting Zeus, that's Alright, Zeus could use some quiz. I've heard that these guys have played once before. At least once before. I believe it was in Quiz's favor. Because the mic is actually so pretty good. That's probably good. Yeah, do it. Hey, and Zeus takes the first sock. My memory of Zeus from when we played yesterday, he did a lot of double jump mix ups. It does seem like he's kind of going for a lot of those too in this match. Uh, he was also really good at controlling uh, controlling stage. And he actually liked mixing in things like forward smash with Falco, which is really interesting and maybe not something you see all the time. Quist, obviously, one of the hometown favorites. Yeah, look at that. Forward smash. Quiz, one of the guys who you sort of expect to uh, get quite far in this tournament. But Zeus is up there too. Oh, just barely misses the edge guard. I think just holding edge there would have worked. Nice, catches the roll in. All right. Zeus is down a stock, but Quiz punishes are so good. This one grab might be enough to even it up. Not quite. And Zeus gets a follow up with his own. All right, just like that, there's only 75% that separates them. Amazing space on that cheek up beam. It made it really ambiguous whether or not Quist was going to land on stage or grab right to edge. Quist more than happy to take a moment and slow it down a little bit by hanging out on the edge. Pocket forward smash kill off the top. What's up, Clive? 
Uh, why don't I just scoot over, yeah. I warned Tyler. I warned Quist yep. that this guy was good. This guy is good. He's like, K-Bob's definitely gonna win. I was like, I don't know, man. This is real good. Yeah, he's pretty good. I've heard they've played before. I think that's what, uh, I thought they played what Zeus told me. But right yeah. now, uh, well, here's where Quist turns it around with one chain grab. Yeah, so here's the thing. Quist was actually down two stocks at one point. Really? Yeah, so well, already so this is like quite a, quite yeah. a turnaround, right? Big tech chase here? Yep. Not, bad. Not quite. He's been dropping his tech chases a little bit. Uh, I imagine that's that's one of those things that from Quist, I'd sort of expect that to even out a little bit as yeah. the set goes on, right? But game, game one with Zeus. Okay. Let's go, Falco. Dreamland, counter pick. So another thing that's pretty interesting here, uh, Zeus showed yesterday that he has secondary. Oh really? Who did yeah. he play yesterday? He played uh, he played some Fox too. Against Sheet or uh, against Marth. Against okay. I could bit. I could I could possibly see that being like. I'm curious. The, the Marth Falco. Let's just don't play Falco. That's one of them. I'm just curious like. I don't know. I wonder if he'd consider switching if things didn't go his way. In a right now, games. he looks pretty confident. He's yeah. looking pretty good. Yeah. Takes the fair to the face. It's easy to say that like one character at 60%, you know, even if they killed you, it's like almost even. You know, it's like yeah. you know only half a stock difference. But I, in practice, I don't think it exactly works be... out like that. Yeah. And already Quist is, you know, kind of made up the difference here. Kind of made that 60%. This is we like to call it a discount. Anytime, <laughs> uh, anytime you're getting like extra percent. So like right now, Quist is getting the stock for free. You know yeah. What I mean? like yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's One hit. 103% off. Oh, oh yeah. tricky. Well, it doesn't go down there to finish it off. That is that is the the quiz classic. It's the that like wall jump back air. I seem to do it. Yeah. A lot. Oh, he loves it. The the best is when he does it against Mike and for Professor Whoa. Dean and yeah. he just like they have like they've done it so many times. They've had that interaction so many times that they have their, They have a bit of a meta game there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. rock paper scissors like. Yeah, so just like I said, I mean, it was a 60% difference before, oh, but... No. Oh, no. oh no! And it looks like it's so even, but it's oh, only ever one interaction away from losing four, another stock. And this is where, yeah, this is when Chris really starts on to shine. Finally takes care of that stock. Yeah, 182, but, you know, if you got to get your opponent to 182 every time, and they're yeah, killing yeah. you at 30%, you're, you're having a real rough time of it, right? Set up number nine. Can we get JM versus Arch? Okay, big old number here. 10. Can we get Candy Thief versus Smash A? I'm definitely gonna wait until after they do what they're done calling. Can we get Woodchuck versus Lumen? Yeah, this is loud as hell. I know. It's a it's a small thing. Can we get Slim versus Why? 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 How can they get a whole speaker system and we get like a guy with a paper? That seems free melee. Free melee. That was a panic side B. That gets him out of danger. It was a panic side B, but it worked out that time. Yeah. It almost didn't work out that time. It looked like Quist was getting kind of ready for it. Third time's the charm. So this is another <laughs> thing about Zeus the Goose from uh, that I noticed uh, from all the sets he played yesterday is that it sort of feels like if he has an option that's working on you, he's just not gonna mm -hmm. change it. Mm -hmm. You know. And until I think Quiz starts punishing that side B, I think Zeus is probably going to be yes. more than happy to just yes. continue to do it. I, I've played, I do that side B all the time. I have a bad habit of, you know, side B, just like really bad side being. Yeah. And Quist is super good at destroying me on it. So I'm surprised he hasn't been punishing that more, but maybe he's just not expecting Zeus to do it as much. But Wasn't quite ready knows. for it to happen like yeah. three times in a row. Yeah. 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 Now that he's done it, that's something he likes. I got Omar versus Swift Cyan. All right, scream directly in my ear if this matches, please. I don't get why they need the speaker system. Get I think a clam on oh side of the floor. Dude, I told you, we literally please. just cannot commentate until, until they're done. You know, the thing is, they probably that, can't commentate their matches either. Filthy. They weren't filthy. I almost missed them because I was paying attention to the speaker. Yeah. All right, and again, it looks so close, but... Yeah, if he gets grabbed, it could be 
suddenly at two stock. Until yeah, until the kill happens, it's, it's not a, it's not close enough, right? Winning neutral here over and over, but uh, still living. Gotta get the kill here. Twisty eye. Dash attack. I'm not sure that's what he wanted. He nah, might have wanted an air. Yeah. Maybe it was intentional. I don't know. Yeah, these edge hurts have been pretty rough. I mean, Twist has been making it back to stage probably much more than you'd feel comfortable as if you're the cop. Oh, though, right? still alive? 180. Yeah. Please get this one. Yeah, ju get just barely, one. right? Just like half a second later, like all these. Yeah. Okay, back air at 202 okay, is going to kill. And 33%, like after all that, like, you know, you still kept the damage, like, you relatively kept the damage down. close, but it's like, you know, you're climbing up a mountain every time, and meanwhile, your opponent has, like, a short height. You know? Oh, that was so Zeus has got to climb the mountain, and Quiz has got to walk to the fridge. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got to put in so much work. Oh. Wow. That's like the first one I've seen today. Yeah, I th he went for quite a few of them, I think, and just missed them. Thing. Stall at the ledge for a little bit. And it, it can be kind of oh. like annoying or demoralizing or something when your opponent is stalling at the ledge like that. Yeah, you have so, to respect I it. I know, it sucks. I hate it. Yeah. Because you just have to sit there and it's like, well, I can't approach you because if I do, I die. Yeah. But at the no, same time, I you're really also like in the lead, so it's like, I, I want to <laughs> approach you. Like, yeah. I want this game to be over. Catch his double point. Wow. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think Quiz is starting to hone in on that. Zeus's bad habits, and like that's one of the things Quiz is so good at doing. Is... Yeah, I mean you can see he really called out that uh, that full hop there. There's a lot of like kind of nervous like double jumps, like really. Like, I don't he's think just it's... like instant double jump. I don't think it's nerves. I think it's uh, that's just a mix up he likes to play. Uh, he did that a lot uh, a lot yesterday. Okay, this is still you know still got something. To oh, oh, needed that. Yeah, needed that. Right. Like you miss it and suddenly you're the one who's dead. Damn. But that wasn't like a close game. Right? That was, it was closer than the last eight, game. Can I get sure. inert versus dragon fire? Wait, inert is in both tournaments? I think so. Good for him. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go melee. Inert. Hopefully he's more of a melee player. Yeah. Doubt it. So what do you think about the Pokemon pick, by the way, versus just going to FD? Uh... Good question. Or, or Yoshi's actually come to think of it. Yeah, I mean, he must just really like. Maybe he likes, maybe he likes the way the platforms are, but. Versus MMA. Yeah, I think this is definitely Seven like. Two. There's definitely better stages to go to. I sort of, I would have expected FD would be the kind of the classical pick, right? I, yeah, I would normally go FD, and if I, impressive. if I can't, I'm gonna go Yoshi's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see what I mean? He's really content to just, like, he, he's figured out, like, Quisp isn't punishing it for whatever reason. And so long as he continues to not punish it, why not just keep going for it? Uh, that's gonna be it. Yeah, I almost thought he was gonna be able to make the ledge there. Sometimes there's, like, that, like, deceptive angle where you, you, you gotta do it very specific, but you can get there when you normally shouldn't as Falcon, or it doesn't look like you should. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's try to at least till this match is over. This is a good match. Somebody's already waiting for you well. Sure. Alright. Oh. He needs to get that kill there. Alright, and that is one of the first low percent kills yes. that Zeus has been able to get in the past couple games. And it brings him to the, his first lead since game one. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, one thing I really like about Zeus is, is his willingness to just kind of let it rip sometimes. Yeah. You know, with the forward smashes and things like that. Because I think he's aware that, like, there, there's times where if you hit this, it just kills. And it's a little bit risky, but so are a lot of the other things you could be doing. Right? Yeah, I think... <coughs> it's, it's, it's tempting to do to just, like laser F smash a lot because you know it, it'll get a kill but like I think for the most oh, oh the, kicks. the baby charge catching the yeah. mistech kicked him okay gets back 
That's the net play classic. This time it feels crazy stacked compared to our usual. Yeah, players. I know. That was the down throw. Oh, oh the down throw tech chases. And he only got 16%. Like, Sheik, you can down throw tech chase me, but so can I. Watch me do it. 16% off, off the whole thing. Yeah. Three grabs. Hit with like 50 lasers. <laughs> uh oh. Yep, that's gonna be it. Nice. And can Quiz just close it out here, or will we see a game five from. I wanna see a game five. I also wanna see a game five. I think. If he doesn't get grabbed. Oh, ooh, spot dodge to grab. Nice. That was a bit of a bait. Maybe a little bait there. Oh, I'm vulnerable. Oh, no. Get a spot dodge, yeah. Now it's getting. Oh, the Phantom! The Phantom back air. I was just complaining about oh. back airs. Or er, Phantoms. Oh! Went for the grab, but Quiz knew it and was ready to roll out. Up air. Oh, catches the double jump. Oh, no! He's dead. That's it. Damn. Wow, close for one quest. now. Very close one. Alright, I gotta play. I gotta play. On setup 11, can I get Onyx versus Shinobi? Tea Time Tim versus Jay Bobinson. Um, I know Jesse has played his fair share of Mars, as we're kind of seeing by how he's like executing everything right now. Uh, but Tim has also played his fair share of boxes, and he knows when to do that, but quite doesn't quite get the downer there. Um, it looks like, yeah, oh, <laughs> gonna reverse this. I like the way he did that double fair there. Yeah, he's just kind of swatting him away, keeping him in the corner. I like the dash backs there. Some first match off the yeah, off the and is that gonna kill? Cool. I like the little fade back jump he did, and then to F smash. Uh, that was very smart of him. Uh, down tilt gonna kill? Not quite. Not quite. Oh. Grab him. Throw him. <laughs> Doesn't quite get the dash back grab there. Uh, gets back air first troubles there. Uh, yeah, these. Obviously, Jesse's a legend, um, and so is Tim in his own right. Um, so, we're excited for this uh, set we're about to watch here. Yeah, and I think a lot of what this uh, set is going to be determined on is how well they capitalize on the edge play there. And he gets a forward smash versus troubles. Um, and I think it's really going to determine exactly like what we're going to see. He's just running around.
On setup number six, can I get Sword Cyan and House Cat? On setup number eight, can I get Culprit 99 versus Clam? On setup number seven, can I get Carrot versus Kizzer? On setup number 10, can I get Omega versus Dragonfire? Setup number 10. On setup number one, can I get HSY versus Arch? On 
on setup number nine, can I get Lukawa versus JM? On setup number 11, can I get Dodo versus Candy Thief? On the other side of set 11, can I get Little Noah versus Slain? On setup number 14, can I get Mock Hit versus Woodchuck Man? All right, what, uh, what place is Kaya in the park? Okay. Or Spring Seed, I think it's like the Oh, so am I guaranteed in the morning? Uh, yeah. No. Hey. Let's go, Clav. Let's go, Clav. Let's go, Clav. Can we wait for that on stream? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think we'll be able to fit it in. Don't worry. Yeah. Yo, two for battle. Honestly, that's what we might do. Because, like, we're going to do a two-symbol with only three people. Yeah. Yeah. Good battle would be sick. I mean, we could do that, but, like, I think a true battle. Ooh, and a rest! Oh wait, Sean, also, you're recording one giant video. Do you not record these as different sets? Um, when you sometimes do it? I do, but like, since they're happening one after the other, not as potent, or as important. I guess that's fair. It's also good to, like, if I really like, walk away, like, then I don't have to worry about it. 
Not that yeah, 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 make sure one's recorded. Yeah. There was a turn that we did start and stop. Yeah. It left the lens with like people just like forgetting to start or stop it. Unfortunate. Yeah, so rather than that, don't worry about that, we just have one thing on. How's this feel? Just start? Uh, yeah, just started. So, game one, uh, Mr. F got a really juicy rest pretty early on. I heard the rest. Also, John, characters. Oh, <laughs> Quiz the Fox. Dude, Quiz the Fox? Not, Lost my eyes, not to be, deceive me. Not to be messed around. Honestly, I believe it. what are those needles? Yeah, those needles are crazy. Oh those are Jamo's needles. I've seen him do that against H-Box like a million times. Those were Quiz needles, Jamo wishes. Yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Someone said earlier, they asked Burgundy, like, are you this scene's Dreffen? And I said, maybe Dreffen is his scene's Burgundy. You fool. Oh, D.I. in on the back air. Too bad. But it looks like Quiz is just gonna... He's just gonna walk this one out. Yeah, I mean, why not? He's, he's definitely content to just jump onto the platform. Charges some, needles. Shoot some needles. No need to get physical. Oh my god. Mr. F just barely sneaking a ledge there. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, why not just charge needles, especially when you're up when you were up two stocks. Even now up one stock. Yeah, I mean he, you know like he's just trying to put on chip damage. Like, and that's what needles are. If he can get him to like 90%, this this game's over if he gets over. Right. Oh my gosh. Actually, wow. winning that kind of aerial trade oh, there is oh, kind of crazy. Every needle in the Are book! Are you serious? There was like four needles against Puff. How the hell? How the hell? That was crazy. How does he see the game so differently? How he plays it. Does he do it? A lot more than he would do. Yeah, that might be true. He plays a lot better. Or at least he used to. Yeah. I know him and him and Professor Peen have been on the grind again together, so... That's they're, cool. They're, they're, they're trying to break top 100. Oh yeah, that's hey, a good rest. that's the kind of rest he got early last game. Let's go. I love the split second of charging needles. Yeah, I think yeah. that is very slightly optimal. It's just so crazy. 19% was that off one grab? Uh, Am I crazy? Nice, Mr. F avoids all the needles. It's important. Huge. I almost thought I could maybe even rest that shield. Yeah, I think every time Mr. F hits him up here, it feels so money, you know? Yeah, every percent he's getting. He's getting, it's 88% off. Like, you'd buy that in the store. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no I'd way buy that not, for a dollar. You're not, there's no way, yeah, exactly. Like, if you'd buy it for a dollar, you'd definitely buy it for 22 cents. You're getting 88% off, and that's what Mr. F's bought. Oh. 12 cents. 12, yeah. <laughs> 12 cents. But you're right, you're right. Listen, I tested out of my pre-algebra class this year, so I don't need to worry about math for the rest of the semester. Fuck Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's like that thing, I think fucking Hungrybox even posted this, but it was like a guy being carried away on a stretcher. Someone was like, what happened to him? They were like, he, he learned that 125 plus 125 isn't... Uh, like 250 or whatever? Or like no, f fuck, it was a 250 plus 250 isn't 550 or something stupid. Or, what am yeah, I trying no. to say? 225 plus 225 yes, isn't yes. 550. That was it. Yeah, that did blow my mind. I, I actually, I remember seeing that on Twitter, like, thinking about it for a while. Like, Hbox really got me thinking. Yeah. Man, it really gets you thinking about stuff and things. Like, if, if that's what he's thinking about, why is he top five player? That's how he's an engineer, dude. Oh, uh, sure. Why is he an engineer? It's an engineering problem the greats have been trying to solve to this day. What is what is 225 plus 225? Some have proposed 550. They have been wrong. Is it not? Is it not 450? Whoa! Now that's a controversial opinion within the engineering community. You know, How would it not be? Some say you know that you might be right. Others say Others that you might be wrong. Oh my goodness. 
and despite the magnificent rest that Mr. Yeah. F got earlier, like and he was like he was getting that extra percentage, and right now he's can't get in on quest. It's almost all tied up. Oh, yeah. That Tries to go for big. another. Yeah, if that up tilt had sent quest upward, he that would have been another rest. It. He did crash cancel it. What an intelligent, thoughtful, aware oh, player. Oh, goes for the rest and misses it. I guess that's... Luckily, the punish isn't huge. Yeah, yeah. It isn't huge. I mean, it like, There's no way he's doing bad. that against a fox. Yeah. <laughs> but against a sheep, you know... Why not? Eat the 20% for the chance oh, that just... Or eat the whole stock. Oh. What? Just sneaks the ledge. Great drift. Tries to go for another Tomahawk, but Quist uh, prepared. Not quite. Doesn't quite kill. I wish I knew the percent, you know, when this stuff starts happening. Yeah, I usually, I feel like for most things, if it's over 120%, it should kill. And if it doesn't, then I'm like... Then they cheated. Yeah, this game's cheated. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Quist sneaks his way into the lead, but it's not over yeah. by any means. I feel like he was definitely trailing this whole game, but it's been slowly bringing it back since that rest. Yeah. And he hasn't gotten rested since then, so... I think, I think, if Mr. F, uh... Oh, okay. what happened there? A little miscue. Oh, what is going on? He's trying to charge needles, I think. Maybe, maybe feeling a bit of the nerves of, uh, playing Mr. F and it being close, I, I don't know. Yeah, th this is really scary. I hate being up against Puff on the last stock. Yeah. Like, all it takes is like one, oh, just like that. Just that like scary. that, if you had to eyed in a little harder. Nice, and Quiz jumps out of there. He knows that had he landed on a platform and had to go for attack, that could have been a tech chase yeah. rest. Yeah, and I've and we know Mr. F has this. Oh, up there, not enough. See, no. Not quite. Not but he's not 120, so that was if, fair. If that was it, fair yeah, and yeah, balanced yeah, yeah. good. Soccer. <gasps> Oh my god. Yeah, that's the kill. He just steals that. Whoa! Alright, yeah, Mr. F sneaks under him with a forward smash. Tie that up. Man. Mr. F. F stands for, uh. Stands for fire. This man is fired up. He's got some pep in his step. Here comes another two hours of them calling out. Oh my god. Yeah, Sean, what is with them having a loudspeaker system? Why do they need two? Can I get Mark and Aqua? It's Why do so they need loud. that? Uh, well, there's a lot of people over there. Are there? There's a lot of people there. I, I'm saying, I you would can get to the center of the crowd and yell. I, 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 I guess the biggest difference is I can stand here and everyone on these tables to care for. Yeah. But maybe that's not the case for everyone at the top. If you stand near the entrance, it'd be the case. Yeah. I'm just saying it really interferes with our commentary, with their commentary. I feel like I think it's the wrong decision. Megaphone, personally. Megaphone is a better option. How loud is? How loud do you need to be? That's how it's difficult so, is it to hear your name being right. called from across the room? Dude, this whole yeah. bot is just gonna be us complaining about the speakers. And why not? <laughs> After all, get Onyx in control. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? I hope I hope the I hope the recording picks this up. I really hope not. We're gonna sound like a bunch of crazy people if uh, yeah. <laughs> if we're just like, oh, and they're so loud, and the stream is like, it's, it's silent. It's it's, like, it's muted. It's, it's like the meme of like Garfield without Garfield, where it's just like John, the guy who owns Garfield, like, talking to himself. It's <laughs> <laughs> like all oh, he's insane. I appreciate Sean saying it's just like this Garfield meme. Yeah. <laughs> Very in character. This reminds me of my favorite Garfield comic, House Cat. <laughs> my favorite Garfield character, the cat. Oh, jump out of shield. What happened? Set up six, can I get Omar and Katie Hammer? What is this entire stock? Yeah, this, no, this, I mean, it's been two minutes and still no kill yet. It's just been kind of like. Not sloppy, they just keep kind of slipping through each other. Yeah. Like that, like. <gasps> ah. He like jumped around him and back aired the other way. I feel like that's been happening a lot this time. Yeah. You oh, it goes see, for grab, but. I mean, if this doesn't twist up, its fist. A timeout. I think a timeout would be hype. Timeout would be quite hype. 
Low key, I think Brawl was a great spectator game, if only because so many games went to time, yeah, which made yeah. a lot of them really tense. I'll set up seven. Can I get McDan and SPS TK? I'm just saying it doesn't need to be nearly this loud. We can there's hear it here. If it were half as loud as this, everyone on that side could hear it. Unfortunately, still, there's you know? nothing we can do about it. Right Am I crazy? Is there is there like a volume thing that we can change? Yeah. Or like turn this speaker Am I crazy? Off? Can I get Shinobi and JM? I think the worst bit is that there's a speaker directly above the commentary yeah, it's, stand. It's, it's, I mean, I love this space. Don't get me wrong. Space, space is great. The space is great. Space is great. I just think that screaming, screaming over a loud system is a little not super fair to the other half of the room. Oh, those up airs! I thought that it was, was going to be a rest, in a but row. yeah. I thought that was going to be a rest, but Mr. Smash. F content to not go for a rest. And honestly, that I was think a Mr. F smash. You know? A Mr. F smash. I think we're seeing that it was kind of. A, the right decision, or it looks like at least, right? Because if he goes for the rest there, he dies. Yes! Let's, let's go. go! We're using the stage mic instead, or like the... Okay. Whatever, like where you stand. The so trick like is there. to okay. complain enough. Yeah. And then things get fixed. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Why do... There's a speaker right there. Like... Yeah. It would, yeah, it would be fine if it was just... Okay, well now it's fixed. We don't have to complain about it anymore. Back to this. I'm still going to complain about it. Anywho... And Ties it up. Ties it up. And this is a I, super close set. I mean, this could end up in a timeout. I don't think we're nearly there yeah, yet, right? No, nah, I don't think so. It, I mean, they started like converting a lot better uh, after this, but neither of them wanted to lose that first stop. They were so here's the thing, though, is that once it gets down to like one minute left, that's when both players have to start actually thinking, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. is this gonna, the strategy that I want to do? Is just try to time the other person out? And the answer, I think, might be, might be yes for one of them, or for both of them. Mm. I don't think we're going to get there. I think Quist is probably going to get two or three more hits. I hear the wave dash. I hear the button flag wave dashes. Honestly, I love the noise. Oh. Oh, okay. Actually kind of helped by grabbing him out of the transformation. Yeah. Mr. F makes sure Quist does not uh, receive a catastrophic failure. Not enough. These edge guards have been pretty rough for uh, Mr. Yeah. F to hit some of them. It's hard as fuck against Sheik. Yeah, like I believe it. Be very tricky. Ooh. Garrett needs to close out the stock. Yeah, please. Just get on stage. Oh, but gets clipped by the fire. Quist has been playing very careful in that. I feel like he's. It's really did he get rested this game? I don't think so. I don't think he did. He's, he's just my memory's gone. Only got arrested twice. That can't help. So oh like, my goodness. I feel like the the, the fact that the punch just has its kill move in, in last knock situations is not as scary as if you're like playing around. With, uh, oh. Like yeah, but speaking of, I mean, there's situations where like. There it is. There it is. There it is. I jinxed it. And just as you I say it, yeah. Commentators Commentators or commentators blessing if you're Mr. F, right? Well, Chris is my boy. So I mean, like, bias, non-biased commentary aside, like. Tyler's yeah, I hate dog. to. Don't get me wrong. Tyler's my dog too, but I, I do hate to like double up and be like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Hate when. No, and honestly, Mr. I mean, that was hype. Playing pretty sick. I, I, I'm, I'm loving these. Like, I think he, the, the up airs he was getting last game is way better. And yeah. Matt, ooh, ooh. Just push for it. Mad lad. I keep accidentally. I think that was the right situation. Oh my god, yeah. Keep leaning my head against it. If uh if Quest brings it back, we gotta yank the fire alarm. <laughs> oh and off the top. Shit, yeah. That's Not gonna be able to get a punish here, is he? No, he does. Oh! It was the it was because he right. hit the screen. Right. That's a faster one than the Star KO. That's crazy. The positioning also kind of helped actually, right? Because he got to fall down and do it from yeah. the angel platform, basically. And Quiz eating a lot of extra damage here. Every single hit he takes makes it that much harder to come back from. Not what you want to see when it's when you're down. Oh no. Dude, if Quiz goes to losers, this bracket is rigged. Yeah, no, this is actually gonna be a What? <laughs> what? What? What a, what a, re a reverse bear. How? When people talk about a reversal, it's that exact situation, that exact thing. And a Mr. F smash. Mr. F smash. Please, call me F smash. Mr. 
Dude, F was my father. <laughs> Get him, Dad! <laughs> so it's interesting. Earlier in the game, we saw Mr. F try to punish the shielded uh, down smash with a rest. Didn't go for it that time. Instead, opts to get some safe and sort of guaranteed damage. Yeah, he probably I, he's not a he's not a trigger puller. I feel. Like. I'm sort of curious why he isn't. You know what I mean? I wonder if it's just because he. I feel like he pulled the trigger that one time and it did not work at all. Yeah, right. I feel like it's it's a little bit cautious. I mean, probably honestly, just a, a sort of pragmatic approach to it, right? is if you sort of recognize like oh I'm, I'm just not hitting these right now maybe you do just stop going for it and you take the guaranteed stuff yeah. instead something sort of easier to execute guaranteed damage i gotta say it's oh, terrifying that's... being the opponent there and knowing like my opponent could rip it right now yeah 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 even if you don't rip it you have that like that mental aspect of like i could rip Terrifying. any one of these points wow i mean 104 percent separates them and unfortunately against Puff, I feel like 104% is really significant, right? Because yeah. that actually is like eight oh, neutral yeah. exchanges that you have to win. And now he's got a full two stocks of Puff that he has to take care of. Just... Oh! Oh my god. And god speaking damn. of... Mr. F. Mr. F. That was crazy. Alright, am I playing now? Can you have played a little bit, right? Uh, Tim hasn't played in longer than me. No, I played just a moment ago. Well, you were on commentary. Oh, I'm waiting. Like, no, yeah. but I played, uh, oh, yeah, I played Bobinson, no, okay. and then I hopped on commentary. No, okay. We played on stream. Zeus the Goose, man, please get your stream for Melee. Zeus the Goose. Yeah. See, imagine if we had a loudspeaker system where we could just bother everyone on the other side of the room. Just imagine. <laughs> Call his name four times. Who cares? There's no accountability. Nothing. What's up, Jimble? No accountability. Yeah. No, did you hear when all the sets were being called from over there and the speaker right there was blasting yeah. them directly into our eardrums? Yeah. yeah, I know. I see that. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, yeah it's just like... Shit. No no accountability. No oversight. Yeah. You guys, these guys think they can just run the tournament however yeah, they want. Yeah, they Ain't that right, Sean? These darn oh. ultimate players. Ain't right. that right, Sean? Yeah, these ultimate players. Ugh. Gosh. All right. Now, this is... This is going to be a really hype match, actually. We got to see a little bit of Zeus playing Falco Dittos yesterday versus Mary, and I mean, you know, Zeus pretty handedly had it. Uh, some of the games were pretty close, and it looked like some of the stuff that Mary was doing, Zeus maybe necess wasn't necessarily prepared to deal with, but I'm curious to see how uh, Zeus versus Clavicle is going to play out here. I think the thing that Mary really had going for him uh, versus Zeus in their set yesterday was that Mary was really content to fire lasers and just maintain this kind of laser advantage, which made it really difficult for Zeus to get started. Uh, however, once Zeus did get started, he was able to take it pretty commandingly. You know, he would get a couple openings and he would just carry them all the way to victory. And I don't think the same was true for Mary's end necessarily. It's been a little while since I've played Clavicle or seen him play on stream, so I don't exactly remember sort of what his game plan is with Falco exactly, but I'm curious to see how this uh, how this shakes out. The biggest thing, like I mentioned, what the fuck was that? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely hop in here. So, let's go. Clavy versus Goosey. Here, what's the taco did? Oh, I understand what he's saying about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you... it's, a, it's like a two step process. <laughs> my, my biggest fear would be my hat getting stuck in it. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Try to pull your hat out and you the alarm. Imagine that would be pretty distracting instead of just the sirens. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, fire trucks showing up to the venue, <laughs> demanding to know who pulled the alarm, where the fire is. That usually puts a damper on things. Uh, I think I've pulled two fire alarms when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I've pulled them twice. Hmm. Uh, I think I've pulled one in, like, Montessori school, and then I pulled another. My mom took me to the YMCA. We were hanging out in the lobby. I was bored out of my gourd, and I just yanked the fire alarm. And I was like, what is this? You know? <laughs> 
fun toy. <laughs> it says like pull here or whatever, and I was like, sure thing. It does instruct you to do exactly what it doesn't want you to do, you know? Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, and the Slab might be taking the first stock here. Uh, actually. His first stock. Oh, oh, okay. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, I got you. No, I, I understand. I've been seeing that. This has been a pretty committing with taking these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Zeus is. Zeus, Zeus is crazy with it. Um, yeah, Zeus is being twisted. Like you said, um, he, oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, he, he he beat Mary pretty handily yesterday, yeah. and I know I keep referencing on commentary when I'm on, but like he beat Peen like one of the first turns of the game over here. So like, yeah, and he's just doing whatever he's doing right now with this crazy combo. Yeah, so I think again, Clive is kind of getting the laser advantage of Clive's actually. Like a moment ago, I feel like Juice was locked down a little bit, but Juice is a really aware player, really smart, able to catch on people's habits pretty quickly. And I think he just sort of knew that Clap was actually going to approach with a move as opposed to a laser. And just like that, yeah, I mean, the first game is a freeze dodge. Yeah. Um, just kind of overwhelming him. Again, he just kind of seems like he's hitting his clavicle with, like, these really unique combos. And yeah. when you're getting hit with a bunch of moves, you don't really know what's coming next. It's impossible to really DI properly. Yeah. I said this, uh, I said this yesterday. Zeus is content every now and again to just sort of let the F smash rip. And boy, he gets mileage out of it. Mm, yeah, for you sure. Know, getting an F smash at a kind of a lower to mid percentage often just gets your opponent off stage. And if they're they're DIing incorrectly, it just kills. Yeah, it's yeah. Outright kills. Yeah. Looks like Clavicle is doing a little better as I as he's getting a little combo here. Yeah, you see, he immediately gets combo. <laughs> All right. He's picking that shred option, which doesn't cover yeah. quite everything. I don't know if he was going for a read or if he just wasn't. You know, it was just like fast and wasn't sure what to do. Mm -hmm. Cleans it up there. Yeah, so we're dead even here. Uh, Clap Gold definitely seems a lot more comfortable on a small stage like this. Um, kind of seems to be yeah. able to do his game plan a lot better, um, which is weird because like Zeus is so aggressive most of the time. So it's kind of it's cool seeing this look like Clash of Styles here. Yeah. I, think, I don't know how to say it exactly, but I think Clap Gold is one of those one of those players who you know they kind of really excel when they're right up next to you. But I think. Sometimes his oh. trouble closing the gap in yeah. a way that keeps him kind of safe. And so I think the benefit of Yoshi's is that the stage sort of does that for him. Yeah, yeah, right? for sure. You don't really need to worry about being too far away when you're on Yoshi's like this. Yeah, right. 50 oh. damage, 60. Now, oh. Zeus's combos just keep going. 85. Oh. <laughs> 113. I mean, doesn't get the stock, but like 113 damage from one opening. There's like 17 different nares in that one combo. <laughs> yeah, two down smashes somehow. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he sees the game so differently. Mm -hmm. But uh, Kenny Hawk backs up a spot, Scott, but he gets really pressured there. Forward throw might kill. Yeah, basically does. Still anyone's game. I mean, the platform gets a really strong opening here. Let's okay, get something. I mean, 35%. You're not feeling as good as the 112, but. It is a good start to it. Yeah. Yeah. Clavicle is just, or not Clavicle, Zeus is just really good at like pushing to the oh, corner. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy, crazy F smashes. His F smash ratio is just gonna be perfect at, at the set. The, yeah, I don't know. The amount of value he gets off the F smashes is maybe more value than like any other player I've seen. Yeah. So, we're going FD. Uh, so it's kind of, well, it's basically the opposite of Yoshi's story. Uh, we're going to see a lot of lasering from both these fine Fapri gentlemen. Yeah. I'm sort of curious to see him go here. It did kind of look as though Zeus had the combo advantage the last game. Like, when he was getting the combo, he was able to go really far with it. And Clavicle, on the other hand, was kind of having trouble. So I wonder if FD is sort of a pick of, like, well, that's going to even that up right now. Right, right. Because right. you sort of expect that on a flat stage, your combos are going to be... A, more straightforward in a way that's going to make it easier to get a bunch of damage off them. Wow, this is a side beam. It's used to be ready for that back there. Yeah, I will say it looks like Kenny's doing a lot better job like getting out of the corner. Um, this Kenny set. Clap? Yeah, Kenny Clapical. Okay. Uh, Clapical's doing a lot better job of like getting out of the corner. This gets him with the craziest. Wow, 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 wow. Clavicle, what was that F smash, dude? It looked like a, a Zeus the Goose F smash. Uh, oh, yeah. A clavicle tending them with his own medicine. Yeah. So, oh, can he get something big here? Get some you know part? I learned this yesterday. His real name is Zeus. Yeah. I heard you kind of talking to him about that. I was like, oh, that's 
a sick ass name. No, that's a sick name. He also yeah. likes to do that a lot where he rec he does the Firefox down. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing that a lot yesterday. And it's really tricky, right? Because you the two ways that you really cover the Firefox high typically are you go out there and you bat it away, or you sort of hang out on stage and try to punish the landing. Well there is no landing. Yeah. Right? Go straight to edge. So uh, yeah, I don't know. And I would imagine that if you start trying to cover the edge, then he just gets on stage for free, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's, it's a really uh, fiendish mix-up. Mm -hmm. He's waiting. That's, yeah, I don't know if that was quite the, the right thing for Clap to do. I sort of feel like he could have rolled behind. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's cool. Yeah, it seemed like a weird move from both these gentlemen, you know? Because, yeah. like, not, certainly having an S-match fully charged when the guys in there near, nowhere near you isn't uh, the most quality thing. Oh, oh, nice. Nice down smash. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, yep, Clap will definitely Seem to be adapting a lot to Zeus's style over the set. Oh, crazy tech into uh, recovery there. Yeah, I think the one thing that I'm kind of noticing is that, like, between their two neutral, I feel as though Clavicle is doing a bunch of things where it's sort of hopeful that Zeus is going to bite, <laughs> if that makes sense, and then Zeus just isn't. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. He really just gets it. That's all you can really say after a set like that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta defend my boy's honor.
Number two, can I get 999 versus JM? On setup number four, can I get T Stu versus Dodo? Can I get JM on set number two? JM set two. On set up number five, can I get Andy versus DJ Travis?
Thank you. 
Josh. Is it me, Dark or Kong? I'm at like one sword and I'm stopping. I'm gonna fight it. Josh's like, can I take it? I'm like, take it, Josh, take it. Take Sog. Goes on stage, Josh. Maybe it's. And then we just add one thing. I can't recover from that. With that, he's gonna be fucking toxic tonight.
Yeah, I'd do the same thing. I don't know. He's playing for his 